Mr. Peterson went on a run after school with his dog, Quinn. They went 1.6 miles. Express this number as a mixed number. All right. Given this model, I would need to shade one whole square. Each of the ten parts should have a little bit of purple shade in there to express that one whole. The next model is going to get six of its ten parts with a line through it to express that part of my mixed number or decimal. As I write this in standard form, I'm going to write one and... Six tenths. It's not one decimal six. It's one and six tenths. My expanded form, I have one whole. Then I'll add my six tenths as a decimal. I could also express that as a fraction. Remember, expanded form is place by place. Okay, let's take a look at that and go on to our next slide. And in our next slide, we are given a place value chart. And all we're going to do with this one is write in our values in the appropriate place value spot. This one won't take too long um, because we've already done the writing and the reading here. So I had one whole and then six tenths. I don't have any value in my hundredth. I could put a zero here. I could also just leave it blank. Either way is fine. And on this page, we're going to be asked to fill in the boxes here to represent this decimal or mixed number on a number line. Looking at our patterns here, I can see that this would have to be 1 and 4 tenths, continuing on with my mixed numbers up in the top, 1 and 5 tenths. I know I need to get to six tenths, so I'm going to just stop here just for time purposes. There is that mixed number that Mr. Peterson and Quinn went. Now, as we look at the bottom part of the number line, I have 1.0, 1 and 1 tenth, 1 and 2 tenths, 1 and 3 tenths. So you are seeing a pattern here. 1 and 4 tenths, 1 and 5 tenths, and then 1 and 6 tenths. And we know that's where we're supposed to be with Mr. Peterson and Quinn's run. As we get to here, this is 1.9, and then it goes over to 2.0. Just even think about taking the decimal out if this is tricky for you, and think 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And make sure you put that decimal back in. They give a mixed number here. They're looking for a decimal equivalent, so one and six tenths here.